In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to design a one product Shopify store in 2025, step by step from the very beginning. I want you to actually understand how to build a clean store that actually looks good and works well, even if you are completely new to Shopify. For this video, we're going to build a store for a red light therapy tool. This type of product is pretty popular, I would say, in the e-com space right now around beauty, anti-aging and all of that. But if you are into supplements or clothing or any other dropshipping product, you can still follow along and just replace the product and the structure and the copy. The structure works with every kind of store you want to build. So let's start from the very beginning. The first thing we do is choose a team. I'm going to use Materia like I'll always do because it just makes my life easier and we don't want to waste any time. And it's almost for free. You can try it for just $1. It looks very clean and it has all of those features everyone talks about, right? Such as sticky at a card, cart upsells, good product pages, more flexibility. But if you don't want to use it, you can still follow along with any other team. I'm using Materia because it saves me a lot of time has a lot of design features and you can install it in just a minute. So I'm in my Shopify dashboard right now. Let's go to online store and click on upload theme. And what I'm going to do is to add materia. You can find multiple templates that you can choose from. So it doesn't matter what niche you're in. For this video, I'm going to use this beauty template because it matches the kind of product we sell. And as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. But for this video, I don't want you to just take this template and replace the content that doesn't really teach you anything. Uh, you can do that if you want, but what I'm going to do is to start from scratch with you section by section to see exactly how I build this kind of stores using Materia. So let's click on customize. So as you can see, everything is pretty simple here. We're going to start with this homepage from the top to the bottom. So grab a coffee and let's go. First, let's start with the announcement bar here. I'm going to first change the color of it. Let's go with this pink and I'm going to add some basic stuff here, such as, I don't know, special offer. So let's add special offer this week and also something like free shipping. Okay, let's see how it looks on mobile devices as well. Great. Now let's move on to the next section, which is the header. And first, what we're going to do here is to change our logo and change the navigation menu. So let's click here on the team settings and upload the logo. I created this one pretty easily inside Canva. And as you can see, it's just this text with this font and I decided to call our brand Lumora because it works with our actual product. So now right under the logo, we have the fab icon, which is that little icon that shows up in the browser tabs. For this, I created a small square inside Canva, as you can see. Also make sure to export it with a transparent background. So now let's upload this right here. Okay, and once we are done, let's move on to change these menu links in the header. One product stores should not have a huge menu. So I'm going to click here to edit the menu. Okay, so the first thing, let's remove this catalog link and replace it with something else, such as, you know, product or buy now, or you can put shop, I'm gonna go with shop, and let's make it right direct to the product. But since we haven't added any product yet, I'm going to leave it as it is. Next, let's add a contact link. As you can see, it's already added right here. This is so important. People always look for this when they want support. Maybe they have questions about a product or whatever. Okay, and the final one, let's add FIQ. You know, people want answers to small questions before they buy and having an FIQ page visible in the navigation makes everything better. And now, as you can see, if I refresh this page, our many links are displaying right here in the header. Now, moving on here, we have the hero section, which is really important because it's the first thing people see and people have really short attention spans. So the first section needs to explain in less than three seconds what the product is, what it does and how it looks. So let's start by changing the headline text. Okay, I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to add something like healthy glow, naturally simple, let's say, okay. This tells people right away what the main outcome is, what is the main outcome of the product. And now under that, we have this little paragraph text. This part needs to explain what a product actually does. The headline talks about getting a natural glow and the description should go more, you know, in depth about and, you know, say exactly what that and how that happens. Now for the bottom, let's actually change the color to match our brand. Okay. And I'm also going to change the background color of the entire section. Okay, great. Next, we got the image. Here's the image, which honestly is probably the most important part of your hero section. You want to show someone using the product, you know, uh, using the product in action or a clean shot of the product itself. Now I made this inside Canva. You know, it's just the device on a clean background. And I added these two little elements to make it look nicer and more premium. So I'm gonna upload this image right here. Great, okay, so as you can see, everything looks very clean. I really love how everything works together. It looks more branded, looks more premium, looks professional. I really love it. And now moving on, let's add another section. 
I'm going to add a waves divider. Okay. And I'm going to make this pink and just make a few changes to it. Maybe adjust the height. Okay, now it looks good. Now let's actually delete the section because we don't need it. And I'm going to add an image with text so we can actually provide more information about our product. So I'm going to search for, okay, image with text. First, let's actually add some Im images here. The first image and then the second image. Okay, now let's change this text right here with something else, such as transform your skin. Let's change the subheading as well. Okay, now for the bottom, let's actually add something like, I don't like shop now, but we can do something like get 40% off. Okay, and we are done. Now moving on, let's add some benefits. This is really important. So I'm going to add this benefits bar section. Okay, so let's change some stuff here, such as the background color. And I'm going to add multiple benefits here, but I'm going to fast forward this process so we move a little bit faster. Now, as you can see, we added things like youthful skin, clinically proven, easy absorption, home comfort, you know, some benefits about your product. Once we are done with this, let's add another image with text. And we are going to add some lifestyle images, you know, with someone using the product. Okay, and for the text, let's paste something relevant. I'm just going to copy and paste this one. Now here, as you can see, we have these icons that we can change as well. I'm going to use a website called CFG repo for all of this. It's basically a website where, uh, you know, we can find CFG icons for pretty much everything. So I'm going to replace all of them. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have things like backed by science, easy to use, no chemicals. And next, what I'm going to do is add something to increase the trust of the people. And for this kind of product, people trust experts, I would say. And if your product is good, there should be some kind of expert talking about a product, what it is, what benefits it provides. And for this idea, we're going to add this as an example. I'm going to add a quote banner. You can also add a person who had an experience with the product or, you know, an expert that recommends the product and says something about it. So I'm going to add a quote banner. And now let's change the background image of this with our actual brand color. Okay, and let's replace this quote with something else and the author as well. Let's add some pictures and a name and change some stuff here. And that's pretty much all. Okay, I like how it looks. It looks pretty cool. Now down below, let's add something else like a comparison table, which is a really powerful section. I really recommend having this on your store. Uh, what we're going to do is to replace all of this, all of these rows right here with our actual information, just comparing our product with other brands and why we are a better choice. So I'm going to fast forward this part as well. So as you can see, we added all of this information. Um, now let's add a logo to this. So it looks more professional. I think it's right here. Okay. Now let's move on to the next things. What I'm going to do is to add some urgency stuff. I'm going to add a marquee bar. Okay, let's add a section and let's change this background color, change some stuff here. And a message should be something like, I don't know, get 40% off. Okay, all right, so under this, let's also add a countdown timer. And what I want here is to make it more branded. So I'm going to customize it a little bit. Okay, and now let's actually add the product right under this. So I'm going to click on the plus icon and add a featured product section. But as you can see, we haven't added any product to our store yet. So let's actually do it. Let's click save for now. And let's go back to our main dashboard and let's click on products, then add product. And here you are probably familiar with this process. Let's start with the title. I'm going to add just the name of a product. Lumora red light. We can add pro or something like that. Next, we got the product description here. I recommend not adding too many things because we are going to display more information about a product in the product page. So I'm going to add just a short description about a product. Let's paste this right here. Okay, next we have the media section here. I recommend adding at least three or four images of your product, you know, a front side shot, back side shot, someone using the product, you know, product photography is more important than anything else. So I'm going to add all of these images and we can also adjust all of these images however we want, but I'm going to keep this one as the main one. Okay. Now down below we have the price here. I'm going to add a $40. This will cost $40 and the compared price. Let's put something like $80. And next we got inventory. 
Uh, I'm going to add something like 1000 for now. If you're doing drop shipping, you can just leave it empty. Okay, next we got shipping, the product weight here, maybe something like, I don't know, maybe 200 grams. Okay, next we have the variants section. If your product comes in different variants, such as colors or features, you can add these as well. You can watch my previous videos to see how I do it, but it's pretty simple. Okay, now once everything is done, just click save. And now let's go back to our store to see how it actually looks here. Okay, and I'm going to add it right here to the section. We are not going to add any blocks yet. I'm going to show you that for the product page. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool, pretty clean. Now let's move on to add a few more sections. As you can see, Materia comes with multiple testimonial sections. I'm going to go with this carousel. Let's go with this carousel. And right here, as you can see, we can add our own testimonials people that have tried a product. So I'm going to replace all of this. I'm going to add some profile pictures just as an example. Okay, and once this is done, as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. We have added everything. The section looks pretty cool. I really love it. I think there's only one more important section we need to add to this page, which is a frequently asked questions section, which is very important because people always have questions about a product, uh, how a product works, whether it works for them and how to use it and so many other things, you know? So. What I'm going to do is just use ChatGPT for this to generate some questions and ask first so we can move faster and don't waste any time. For this kind of product, people might have questions like what it does, if they work for their skin, uh, you know, how long it takes to see the results and, you know, many other things like this. So I'm just going to add all of them. OK, so as you can see, we added all of them pretty clean. Uh, you can add multiple questions if you want. Now, right under this section, we have the footer menu. We can also change the color of it if we want to match our actual brand. Okay. And we can also add our own logo here. So it looks more professional. Okay. And now this is basically our entire homepage for the store. It's almost fully done and ready to sell. And as you can see, it looks really clean. I really love it. On mobile devices as well. It just looks so awesome. If I switch it right here, everything looks nice, very clean. Okay, so now that we finished our home page, let's move on to the most important page, which is the product page. This is where I recommend redirecting people when you start sharing your store. Um, it's the product page. And you probably hear everyone talk about product pages and all of that. And so I'm going to show you how you can actually create those kind of product pages everyone is talking about. And you're going to see exactly why I love using Materia. Okay, as you can see, what we built so far, again, it looks absolutely amazing. Now, let me actually show you how to build a product page. Up here, Let's go to the products and just click on the products page. Okay, and as you can see, this already looks very clean. As you can see, it comes built by default this way. So it looks absolutely amazing. And we didn't change anything, right? So first, what I'm going to do is start with this benefits. I'm going to start with this vertical benefits right here. And what I want to do is make these icons match the color of our brand. So uh, what I'm going to do is to go to CFG repo again and look for a check icon. And I'm just going to add this one by one. Okay, so as you can see now, we added all of this one by one. And uh, I don't think it's necessary to add more stuff. But what we can actually do is add some social proof, I think. So right here, in this product information section, we can see that we have this social proof of ours, what I'm going to do is to enable this and just add it right there above the product title. And uh, what I'm going to do is just replace some stuff here, you know, customize it, replace some images, add some profile pictures, add some text, and that's pretty much all. Okay, so as you can see, we're done customizing it. It looks absolutely amazing. This is going to increase social proof so much. And also we have this payment badges right here to increase the trust even more. And right there, we have this collapsible rows. Let's actually replace all of this with more information about our product, such as how to use it and things like that. So again, I'm just going to fast forward this process. Okay, as you can see, I added some details, some information that customers might look for. And as I said, we don't need to include everything in the product description. We can just add more information about a product along the way within our product page, right? Okay, moving down, we have these icons right here. And what I'm going to do is replace all of those uh, as well with some different icons and different information as well. Okay, we finished added everything. As you can see, we added things like safe and tested, fast support, and also added this really important 60 day results guarantee. This is so important for trust. Make sure your actual product is actually doing those things and it's a good product that solves a real problem. Okay, and now right on that we have some image with text sections. 
And what we can do here is just go back to our homepage and just copy those sections and just paste them right here. Now we can swap these images if you don't want the same ones as the homepage. Uh, but for now, we're going to keep them the same just as an example for this video. And right on that, we have this video testimonials section, which is really important to display. Video testimonials are way more powerful than just text based testimonials. You can replace the actual videos if I click here on the video card with some videos from your supplier or some videos from your actual customers and just paste them right here. Here we also have some text based testimonials again. And what we can do is just replace all of this content with our actual testimonials. Okay, as you can see, I have everything. It looks really clean. And we also have the FIQ section right here down below. You can just replace all of this content or we can just go back to our homepage real quick and just copy the same FIQ section we created there. Go back and just paste it right here again. Now our product page is almost done. As you can see, everything is very clean, very trustworthy. We also have this clean, sticky add to cart bar right here, as you can see. And again, you know, what's cool about Materia is that it has so many blocks that we can add to our product page. Like if I go here on the product information, I can just add so many other blocks. For example, I can add this countdown timer, which, you know, looks very clean, looks very good. And so many other things like we have, I think, 20 plus blocks that we can add. We have so much design flexibility. Now I'm really proud of what we did here. It looks absolutely amazing. Now there are just a few more things before we finish our one product store, which is creating the contact page and the FIQ page. Now, as you can see, the contact page, if I go up here is already created. All I need to do is just replace all of this content with my actual contact information. You can do it yourself. You know, you can add a banner image right here and just replace all of this with your actual contact info of your business. And now for the FIQ page, we need to create a page so let's go back to online store, go to pages and click add page. Now for the title, we're gonna call this obviously FIQ. And right here at the template, this is really important. I'm going to select the FIQ template. Materia comes with a template already created, which is pretty cool. Okay, so right now, if I click on preview, we can actually see our actual page right here. Again, what you need to do here is to replace all of this content with your actual content for your product and things like that. And that's pretty much all. Now, of course, there are so many other important things such as setting up your legal policies, but I think everyone knows how to create those. Actually, Shopify create those automatically for you. Just make sure you display them in the footer. In the footer section, we can just add our policies and just make sure they are there because people are going to look for them. And yeah, that's pretty much all with creating a one product store. Everything we created so far looks absolutely amazing. I really enjoy making this and sharing it with you guys. This exact template is available for you to check out on Materia. You can click the link in the description of this video, or you can just go to our website. You can find multiple beautiful templates that you can start with. But as you can see for this one, we started from scratch just to show you how powerful it is and what kind of cool stores we can create. You get so many features and not only one template, you basically get all of them all in one. Thank you so much for watching me until this point. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the time. I really love what we created here. Um, yeah, I really love it, man. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment down below, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to check out our other videos on this channel. We teach a lot of stuff about e-commerce, about Shopify, about teams, about web design and so many other things. Again, thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.